Hey guys, what's up? So, Desi Arts, or yeah, Desi Arts, formerly Michelle, formerly known as Jacqueline Dorr, uh, here on DeviantArt, or on DeviantArt, I should say. Uh, today, Wednesday, uh, May 11th, uh, released the sixth part in her continuation of a series she started last year called Melting Me Eye. That's right, Melting Me Eye. I kept saying, uh, I kept wondering if it was Melting May, Melting Mia, it's Melting Me Eye, because the name of the character is spelled M E I, Me Eye. And long story short, the fourth and final part that concluded last year had Me Eye, you know, have her friend, her love interest, if you will, uh, Zara, Zara, I think. That's her name. Try out the lotion that she, Zara, had created and basically discover the same discovery that me, I had discovered. And that is, oh, it could turn me into a living, you know, slime girl can melt me down into a puddle of, of goo and do it in a very pleasurable, sensual uh, manner. Well, part five basically picked up where that left off, in a sense, where Mii was helping Zara kind of learn a little bit more of what she could do, kind of helping her reconstruct. Basically, the main premise is helping her reconstruct herself from being a puddle of goop. And Zara, of course, did do that, but also kind of started to get into it and understand that you know, maybe this isn't so bad after all, and it ends with both of them melting down into a puddle of goop, sleeping, uh, seeping, I should say, through the cracks of the hardwood floor as described in the story, and basically starting to mingle together, kind of merge together, um, you know, sensually. Basically, they, they're, they're starting to have, I guess you could say, a slimy version, oozy, puddly version of, you know, sex with each other. And that's where part six kind of continues on. It continues where part five left off. And these two are just literally, you know, getting into it with each other. They're merging together, the mingling, you know, with each other, you know, the flowing into each other. And everything, the you know, causing you know each other to create waves that crash into each other. They're doing all kinds of crazy things that allow them to kind of experience a slimy version of having sex with each other, even to the point that they both turn into fountains that almost crash into the ceiling and sprinkle down upon each other. And the end result is, you know, Zara is now totally into it. Like, now she's like, oh, this is kind of cool. I like this. This is a great feeling. And, you know, Mii is, you know, is, of course, enjoying it because, you know, she has a little bit more mastery over what she, they could do, or over what the powers allow her to do. So what happens is, you know, as they're kind of trying to get themselves together and everything, Zara is kind of like tuckered out because again she's new at this and everything so having this sexual experience having sex basically in this manner uh, with Mii um, has caused her to tuck her out and you know want to just you know sleep kind of go into a slumber you know if you will like let's say a sleeping beauty like slumber temporarily to regain her energy but Mii Sit, you know, ask her, you know, if she could do one thing to let her experiment on something, you know, while she rests or something like that. And Zara's like, hey, no problem. You know, let me just, you know, rest a little bit, get myself together again. And, I, and then, like I said, Zara kind of goes into a sleep. So Mia takes the opportunity to try this experiment out. And of course, when you have two characters, female or male, if you will, deciding to kind of get it on, especially if they have the same powers and, you know, abilities like these two have in the story, you know, the end result is always going to be something that you would expect. And in this case, it's 
fusion. That's right, it's a merger. And that's the experiment Mi Ai wants to do. So she starts to reconstitute her, both of them, not just herself, but both of them, into a singular figure. And once she's all done and everything, she sees what she looks like in the mirror. And uh, she notices, okay, I still need to add a few things. Like she does have to build her head, but she's got enough sense to be able to go to the bedroom even without you know really seeing with a head because she could see you know through the goop and everything the goop allows her to see almost anywhere i guess and she goes to the mirror and notices okay i need to reconstitute a head and she reconstitutes it she gains uh she basically creates it and then she starts to create the facial features and everything first she creates lips which she blows at the mirror and then she creates eyes and then hair and then when it's all said and done she's basically becoming She's basically become a blend of both herself and Zara, you know, into one person, which she actually enjoys. And Zara, she's resting, but obviously I'm sure is going to be aware of what happened. And she decides, okay, what can I call you? What can I call this new merged version of both me and my friend? What can I call you? And she comes up with the name of Maya which is M-A-R-A, -A, like combination of Zara and Mia, and Mia, I should say, so it's Maya, M-A-R-A. -A. And then she says, you know, hey, we look too beautiful as Maya not to share with the world, and that's where the story ends. So what's interesting about this is we're getting a fusion, a merger between the two into one person already, and what I suspect is going to happen is, well, Zara's resting for a bit. My, uh, Mi'ai Mi is going to go out as Maya, the combined form, strut her stuff, maybe flirt with some girls, flirt, flirt with some guys. But then we'll start noticing, uh-oh, you know, something's happening to where she's starting to get solidified. Because, you know, there's a time limit, right? There's a time limit. So she's going to start noticing, oh shoot, I'm going to solidify soon. And I think what's going to happen, just again, I don't know what she's got planned, okay? I don't know what Desi Arts Michelle has planned. But what I could suspect is she's going to go out in a combined form, strut her stuff, flirt with guys and gals, you know, just have a good time. Zara is going to probably wake up, see what's going on, even and probably even enjoy it herself and maybe want to take a little bit of control of the combined form, which I'm sure me, I will allow her to do. But then both of them will start noticing, uh-oh, you, know, we, you know, we're getting close to a certain time limit. We might have to get back to the apartment or back to the home to uh, separate so that when we uh, reform or when the time limit's up, you know, we, were, we can reform separately and not, you know, be stuck together as one, if you catch my drift. So it'll be interesting what she's got planned, but I've got a feeling getting a fusion, a merger this soon in the story is going to lead to a situation in part three where they're both going to, well, Mi'ai at first is going to enjoy being this combined form and then Zara is going to probably join in as well. But then they're going to notice, uh oh, you know, you know, maybe they'll look at a clock and they'll notice, uh oh, you know, we gotta, you know, we gotta go, we gotta get back to, you know, the to uh, Mia's uh, Mia's home to separate, so that they can, uh, you know, uh, basically reform when the po when the lotion when the effects of the lotion wear off, uh, so that you know they can reform. Uh, back into themselves separately and not be stuck together like permanently where the fear could come in of one could lose one to the other or something like that. Not saying that she would go there because a lot of these stories, um, I, I will say this, the story, I mean when the story series first started, yeah the Mia character was scared a lot and everything but once she got the hang of it that's when the fun started to come in and the lightheartedness started to come in and you're starting to see that here a little bit too. But she's not, Desi Arts Michelle is not afraid to kind of put a little bit of conflict in there. But I don't think it'll be too much. I think it'll just be them having fun in the combined form. And then maybe noticing, okay, we got to get back before, you know, 
uh, the, the, the potion wears off and all that, so, you know, I, I, w I would not, like I said, I would not put, put, a pa put it past Desi Artists to probably put a little bit of conflict, but that conflict making, uh, being to make sure they get back in time, and I was just turning on my computer, or actually just, you know, bringing my computer back up, back up, because it goes into rest mode and all that, so I do apologize. Uh, but anyway, I would not be surprised if the, the conflict we do get is, oh, they need to get back, you know, to uh, Mia, um, Mia's place, Mia's place, to, um, like I say, separate so that when the lotion wears off, they can be themselves and not worry about being stuck together. So, I can see that happening in the next part. Again, though, like I said, I don't know what she's got planned, but I can't see that. I can, I should say, see that happening. Now, what's interesting, though, what's interesting, though, is this is very similar to some other stuff I've seen. Like, for example, uh, one person that I subscribe to, uh, one person I subscribe to, uh, did a story series with a, a character called Emily. You know, a character called Emily in there, okay? And Emily um, had gained these powers to be a goo girl, much to sometimes the annoyance of her boyfriend. So, so what happened is uh, basically... She got together with her friend Millie, who's had a history of going goo along with her. And basically, because they know, just like in this story, that the effects are temporary, they have a little bit of fun. And one of the funds that they ha one of the bits of fun that they have, I should say, is merging together. And the first time they merge together, they're both, you know, kind of like in control. They're both individually there, but in one body. The second time they do it, you know, they end up becoming someone totally different. Someone that knows, hey, I came from these two, but I'm my own person. And then they do it a third time, um, because mainly the second time they did it and they became a different person, the clothing that they could have used didn't fit them. But the second time, or the, or the third time they do it, and the second time they become a different person, they're prepared aired, um, as well. And they go out and have fun by flirting with the boyfriends, only for one of the boyfriends to catch on to the fact of, oh, I see what you're doing. And then he joins in on the fun at the end, where he basically goes goo, merges with the girls, and they become basically um, a female with uh, certain male genitalia, you know, up front, if you catch my drift. It kind of reminds me of that, but it also reminds me Excuse me, uh, but it also reminds me a little bit of Mr. Internet Man stories. Two in particular, as a matter of fact, two in particular. One of them, one of them is called, I think, First Date or something. And it's between his character Veronica Demonica and his other character Rebecca Exotica. And both are basically, you know, very similar or identical you know, in their civilian life, but their alter egos are, the sa are basically very similar and identical as well because both of them have been given the nightshade lipstick that allows them to turn into succubus, mischievous demon elves. And in this story, when they finally kind of go on a date with each other, I, I guess after finding out that each other have the same kind of abilities, one of the things they do after they do a little bit of like shape shifting into different, you know, uh, people, robots, whatever. One of the things that they do is they end up basically, um, you know, kissing each other. And while they kiss, a big old whirlwind of blue and uh, sky blue, purple and purple smoke, I should say, sky blue and purple smoke starts swirling around them and engulfs them and it starts going all over the room, this combined like little tornado, to finally it crashes into a certain center of the room 
And what emerges is a fused form of both of them. A fused form of both of them, which both have the control of. Now, at first, you don't think, you know, that's a fact. You don't, well, what I'm trying to say is at first, you don't think that's true because, you know, the way the fused form talks, it acts like it's its own person, but then you see that both are in control. Both are in control. And of course, over time, when this has happened between the two, they've kind of mastered it to where, okay, sometimes the results are not very good, you know, like with the Angela fusion, but then when they get into the Zaya fusion, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit more equal, um, if you will. Now, it's not the first time that the Demonica Veronica character has uh, fused with somebody. Of course, we know that she's done it with uh, ARY01's characters. We know that she has done it with um, uh, Ruby Walker, Minor Dash Alterations character. And more specifically, we've known that they've done it with, I, I think their name is Pharaoh. Pharaoh's uh, character, Lilith. They've done it with that character as well. But the way they did it with the F Lilith character is Veronica Demonica, as Demonica, you know, makes her think, oh, I'm not going to be able to make our special date and all that, da, 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 da. But in reality, what she wants to do is kind of give um, Lilith a more pleasurable time um, experience so she decides to, while well, Lilith is in the shower in this one story, she decides to replace Lilith's um, outfit that she's known to wear by turning into a replica of said outfit. So that when Lilith comes out and puts the outfit on, it starts giving her immense pleasures and feelings. But what's happening is she's starting to slowly fuse with her in a very unique way to where Lilith, you know, one would think is kind of on to what's happening, but the way Mr. Internet Man described it, she's not. And all that's going on is, yeah, she's kind of fusing together with, uh, fusing together with uh, Demonica, but Demonica is putting so much of an influence on her that she's unaware that this is happening and she's just going with the flow like it's just a natural thing she does every day. Again, not realizing that her friend is the outfit that she is wearing and her friend is allowing her powers to help influence uh, Lilith's, um, I guess you could say, perception of reality. And again, that's kind of what, you know, this latest chapter, especially towards the end with the fusion, the merger, which we expected, but not so soon, uh, kind of reminds me of some of those stories right there. Now, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen in the seventh part. I don't. But again, if, if what I predict could happen is true in any sense of the way, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Now, she did say that this would be more Zaya-focused. Or Zara-focused. So, we'll see how much Zara is focused on in the next part. Like I said, I could see her waking up kind of getting into the fun that they're having in this merged form, or Mia is having in this merged form, or to have it, you know, you know, shot it as well, but then both realizing that they got to get back before the lotion wears off, or, you know, something could happen that wouldn't be, you know, very pleasant if you catch my drift. But we'll see what occurs. We'll see what occurs in the seventh part. It's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I cannot wait to see, like I say, what she has in store. As far as the final part, the eighth part, is concerned, because this is a month-long thing. This is a month-long thing. So the 18th is when we're going to get the next one, okay? And the 25th is when we're going to get the final one. Now, whether or not she decides to go and give us a bonus one because of Memorial Day weekend, that's up to her. But, but... The 25th will probably be the last one up until next year if she decides to continue. And my thought process is if you're going to have an NFSW situation here, then you'll probably have one um, at the end of the third part, into the fourth part. 
But I'm hoping what she does, and I'm not saying she's done it, but what I'm hoping she does is she gives us a moment where they bathe in each other as a bath or something like that, because that's something that you would expect to occur with these kind of stories. But we'll see what happens. Maybe she'll even allow them to do a little shape-shifting because, you know, sometimes that's what goo girls, slime girls have the ability to do as well. They're going to do some shape-shifting, maybe wear each other's clothes, maybe even evaporate and rain down on each other as, you know, rain. Who knows? But we'll have to see. But next, but like I said, the next part, I could definitely see whatever she has planned, both of them having fun in the merged form, but then both realizing they have to get back to... Uh, Mia's uh, Mia's place before uh, they end up solidifying into one and probably losing each other to this new persona. So we'll see what happens. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Comment down below. Live chat during the premiere. Use the super thanks to help contribute to the channel. Be greatly appreciated. Also use the live chat to during the premiere to do a super chat, a super sticker that would help too. Uh, check out the Teespring store. Also check me out at Vimo at BW Roses and at Venmo at Brian Warmer 2 to support me there, and at Cash App at BW Roses 98. Also check me out at DeviantArt.com slash BVW1979. Also check me out at Fanfiction.net slash Brian one. That's numeral one, by the way. Also check me out at Patreon.com slash BW Roses to support me there with. A $1, $3 tier, the $3 tier gets you access to content you can't get anywhere else till later. And at Vimo, like I said, for content you can't get anywhere else due to copyright. And until next time, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. And I am out, but I do suggest checking this Melting Mia 